good looking piece all on his own, Don's gone for some turps thinners. So I'll take you around a few boats for anybody who wants to uh, start sailing or wants a liverboard. Now boat size, this is Don's boat, steel away, which is Matt Wester, 22 foot. Uh, great for sailing, not too happy about the single long keel, but uh, it should be alright. Some people prefer long keels, some people prefer bilge keels, thin keels, that's a long keel, that's a bilge keel, obviously two keels on it, so you can sit down on the wood, sit there and have a coffee if you do get stuck. There's a long keel, very very long keel. I don't think that's going to sit very well, that's just going to fall over, so don't get into a situation where you're going to fall over. And then you've got uh, fin keels, now these are fin keels, so again, large weight in the bottom, uh, but they tend to fall over. There's lots of things to be caught if you're going in shallow water as well, like the rudders. There's another fin keel, another fin keel semi-long fin keel very large boat but uh, liverboard you could quite have a liverboard on something this size this would be about 28 feet maybe 30 so westerly ocean lord you can look it up I don't know what that is that's 36 feet or 38 feet at least you could certainly liverboard that one in fact, you could live. You could live aboard most of these boats. Most are big enough inside. Local owns this one. He comes down at weekend. That's massive inside. This is a triple keel, as you can see. You've got your bilge at the side, and a very long centre keel as well. That would sit very well. Same with this one. The one next to it. This one's for sale. Forget how would it look. Uh, below the line because that's just paint basically rub it down paint it's just like new this is a very nice boat needs a few needs a bit of work doing to it but nothing major bit of uh, wood down the side other than that it's a very uh, dickies number in case anybody's interested like I say it's not much this one will probably be about 18 20 pound a week maybe 22 if you look I don't even think it'd be that You'd have to come up with some deal with them because you're going to be leaving it here for a few months while you do it up. But it certainly would be a very nice uh, boat once it's once it's done and out. I don't know if you can see any of it. There's plenty of boats at Dickies for sale if you fancy being in uh, this part of Wales. As I said, the keel arrangement on that is set perfectly well. Another nice newer one if you've got plenty of money to buy one. Depends what you want, whether you want an old boat or a new boat. Personally, the old boats are fantastic. They've been here 30, 40 years up to now. They'll probably be here another 30, 40 years. These newer ones won't. Only time will tell, but uh, these will just start splitting apart in 20 years' time, I tell you. You may think they've all got all the fancy stuff on them, but basically they're crap. Half of the stuff that's on the deck will rot away, where on the old stuff, it's still there. Uh, look at Don's. It's 40, 40 something years old and all the parts that are on it are original parts and apart from the bottom of the mast going which is partly our fault uh, we've still all be there so it just depends what size you want to live aboard you could basically live aboard Don's because like you can live in a 13, 12, 12, 13 foot caravan or you can live in an 18 foot caravan or a 26 foot caravan it's up to you how much room you think you need we all tend to have uh, too much clutter in our lives well you're not going to get much clutter in a boat because you're going to have to sort your stuff out so you've got just what you need and a bit extra not rooms and rooms and rooms like I have most people have of rubbish Plus the fact you spent loads of money on rubbish as well. But as I say, where Dickie's Boat Yard is, very nice place. I mean, you can imagine waking... How many people out there are actually waking up to a scene like that every morning? 
I'm certainly not where we come from in Manchester. All right, it's not as nice looking the other way, but it's still a better looking, a better scene than uh, most people get to see out of the windows every morning. And you only get one life, so enjoy it while you can, which most people don't. And then it's too late. We're here at Second John Sailing. We're making the most of it. So I'll see you soon, I'm good looking Pete, all on my own, no Don, uh, no Allens, and we're going to get all this finished today, see you in a minute.